is high school basketball on Bear Country 95.3. Good evening, everyone. Welcome to Mohawk Trail Regional in Buckland tonight. A boys' Hampshire League matchup and a rivalry game at that, the Mohawk Warriors and the Frontier Red Hawks. Jeff Terrell and Chris Collins courtside, Dave Reno in our Greenfield studios. Chris, a couple of teams, combined 0-9 record. So barring the to-date unheard of tie in basketball, one of these two teams is going to get their first victory of 2017-2018. Well, I think that Frontiers, two, two of Frontiers' losses come with asterisks, I think, because they were games that were not only winnable, they were games they were on the verge of winning and kind of gave away with some bad passes and some questionable choices. Mohawk, you know, coming in, we knew this is going to be rebuilding here. New coach, new system. But I got to tell you, we've done games up here for years, and I have never come into a game and been talked to by more people saying, be kind to us, be nice to us, <laughs> be positive. It's a rebuilding year. And I don't know what to expect, but anything can happen when these two teams get together. Yeah, Mohawk uh, lost quite a bit of scoring. Their top two scorers from last year's team. You have uh, Torsten Sloan Anderson, who averaged in the teens. Ian Eckler, right about 10 points per ball game, and just provided that steady senior leadership. Now they're just a team that's trying to forge an identity and also trying to get some offense. They're having a lot of trouble putting the ball in the bucket. Yeah, and I think that you know you don't you can't win if you don't score. But I think that they can probably do some damage to Frontier in terms of a def if they have the right defensive set. Uh, there have been some, some major mistakes that have been made on the frontier side of the ball, but they've still got Karsten Carey, they've still got Ben Lestowski, they've still got Muzika and others. So, I mean, you know, Frontier, I think, has the edge in this game. They have good athletes, and they move the ball well, but their, sh their shooting has not been great either. Yeah, and speaking with head coach Ben Barshevsky about 45 minutes ago, he said, yeah, a lot of lazy passes, a lot of errors in judgment. He's just looking for his guys to put together 32 solid minutes of basketball. They go through stretches. You've seen them, Chris. I haven't seen them yet this year. They go through stretches where they look pretty good, and then they go through stretches where they don't look good at all. Well, and the, where they seem to have the problem is late in the game. I mean, they had an eight-point lead over Wakona, who's 4-0, and and they looked like they were going to put them away, and then they made four or five of the most bizarre passes, and they, they just they gave the game away, and Wakona came away with a one-point win in their building. So, I mean... I, like I said, I think Frontier probably is a heavy favorite tonight, but they're going to have to be a little bit more disciplined than they have been. All right, we will see what happens. We're about eight or nine minutes away from the start of tonight's game. We'll take a quick time out here. Starting lineups, National Anthem, and the opening tip-off coming up next on Bear Country 95.3. Financial support for FCAT's coverage of local high school sports provided by Leader Home Centers your hometown home center with five locations to serve you in Amherst, South Deerfield, Barrie, Greenfield, and Brattleboro, Vermont, or online at leaderhome.com. Visit them for all your building material needs. Raymond Financial Services, LLC. Take charge of your financial future. Insurance, investments, and benefits for individuals and employers. Attorney Daniel Graves, Esquire. In addition to being Deerfield's town moderator, Dan's a practicing attorney. Call his Greenfield office at 773-8706 for all your legal needs. Good evening, ladies and gentlemen. Welcome to this evening's MIAA basketball game here at Mohawk Trail Regional High School. Participating student athletes and coaches have worked diligently to prepare for tonight's competition. So please show your appreciation by demonstrating good sportsmanship and by appreciating and commending good effort and skill, no matter which individual or team. All right. We are just about set players, for tonight's fans. battle. Frontier and, and Mohawk. We're going to send it to the floor now for the introduction of tonight's of starting lineups. The officials for tonight's game are Hardy Burke and Jermaine Thomas. For the visiting Frontier Red Hawks, coached by Ben Barshevsky, assisted by Brennan McKenna and Josh Morse. Starting off, guard number one, Alex Sharp. Guard number two, Kaylin Evans.
forward, number 11, Ben Laskowski. Forward, number 12, Jared Muzika. And at center, number 22, Carson Carey. And now, for your very own Mohawk Warriors, coached by Jeff Bird, assistant, assisted by Mark Jingris. Starting at guard, number three, Anthony Moffitt. Guard, number five, Luke Beeman. Forward, number 14, Mr. Fitzgerald. Sorry, I can't think of the first name. Forward, number 50, John Schutze. And at center, number 20, Jackson Hicks. Would you all please rise and remove your caps for the singing of our national anthem. Oh, say can you see by the dawn's early light what so proudly we hailed at the twilight's last gleaming, whose broad stripes and bright stars through the perilous fight or the ramparts we watched were so gallantly streaming and the rocket's red glare the bombs bursting in air gave proof through the night that our flag was still there oh say does that star-spangled Despite the uh, relative lack of success so far this season by these uh, two teams, a decent crowd here tonight in Buckland on a frigid night. Another for Is there any other kind lately around here? I hope they had dog sled parking out there. I mean, that, it's at the point where like it's we're like in Nome, Alaska. It's getting a little ridiculous. Yeah, it's getting a little ridiculous. I was looking at the long range, by the way. We're not going to see 30 for, for weeks. I know. For weeks. That's what's killing me. That's, uh, yeah. <laughs> Global right. warming is killing us. Lead official is Arthur Burke. And on the other side is Jermaine Thomas. We play eight-minute quarters, 30-second shot clock. Front turn, they're visiting navy blue with the red and white. And Mohawk in the home white with the royal blue and gold. Fitzgerald jumping center against Carey. Carey easily wins the jump. We're underway. Frontier with the ball moving left to right here in the opening quarter. Zone defense looks like a 1-3-1 for Frontier. They get it right down and through the hands of Carey, but they're to clean up underneath. They score 2-0 the score. That was Jared Musica came in and just sort of cleaned up the glass there. All the set play between the circles. Anthony Moffat gets a screen from John Schutze going baseline for Cheryl. Nice feed to Hicks in the paint. High off the glass, no good. That was a nice set by the Warriors, but they could not convert. Coming back quickly is Kalen Evans. Bounce pass to Sharp in the corner. Passes batted down. They try to get to Musica. Jared trying to run it down. It goes out of bounds. Unable to save it there on the far side was Mohawk. It will go back to Frontier with 18 seconds to shoot. Let's see if this zone works on, on Frontier. They had a tight man to man on the other night, and they were able to have some success against it. Litskowski gets it in, down low. Carey goes right baseline, little finger roll, no good. He tried to tip it out to a teammate, Evans. He did. Evans between the circles. In that 1-3-1 defense right now. 
for the Warriors. Down low, Lestowski finds a lane. Left side, he banks it home. Yeah, ben Lestowski hasn't had much daylight in the last couple of games. We'll see if he can break out tonight. 4 nothing, and now a steal by Evans. Battling for the ball, comes up with it. That's what we saw a lot in the JV game. Lestowski trying to get his head low to Sharp out of bounds off of Mohawk. Front two will keep it. Sharp will inbound on the baseline. Gets it at Evans on the left side, fakes the three, goes baseline, sealed off there by Fitzgerald. Skoski has that on the left wing. Bounce pass left corner. They dump it down low to Carey. They quickly double it in, back to Evans, fakes the three, to the line, to the lane, right side, sharp, wide open for three, good. It's a good little kick out to Sharp. That uh, Evans has got a lot of quicks. And a quick timeout called by Jeff Hurd. We'll step aside for the break as well. 6.21 to play here in the opening quarter. Nice start for Frontier. They lead it 7-0 on the Greenfield Savings Bank scoreboard. The Patriots wrap up the regular season on Sunday at Gillette. They take on the New York Jets with a win. Patriots will wrap up home field throughout the AFC playoffs as long as they're involved. They can do that even if they somehow lose to the Jets. If Pittsburgh loses, and Pittsburgh is sitting a lot of their starters. They, yeah, but they kinda, they're playing the Browns. Yeah, they, and they, yeah so they, <laughs> they basically have run up the white flag. Exactly. Okay. All right, we'll have that game for you, by the way, Sunday. 10 o'clock pregame, 1 o'clock kick, right here on Bear Country. John Succi runs it across the timeline, nearly traveled as he picked up the dribble. They try to get it down low to Hicks. It's tipped away. Lasowski has it. On the right side, it comes to Sharp. One-handed pass, too hot and high for Carey out of bounds. Yeah, that was way too hot and high. And uh, again, that's an example of what we've been talking about. Play back on there. The backcourt tipped away and a, a little over-aggression there by the Frontier D, a foul on Musica. Frontier's been running a three-quarter court press, and it's been pretty effective for the most part uh, in the last couple of games that I've seen. But that time, it was just it was a little too much Jared Musica there on the try to poke. Gerald gets it in, Luke Vian's in the backcourt. They break the press, tricky dribbles to the top of the key. Passes over on the right side to Moffitt. Moffitt calls the set play, angling now to the right, right of the lane, nice spin move, but he got blocked on the way up, tried to save it out of bounds. It goes out of bounds off of Carey. Mohawk will keep it, 15 to shoot. Fitzgerald will inbound on the baseline. Gets it in, Moffitt with a rainbow three, right corner no good, put back by Hicks, no, tip follow up, no good, Carey finally clears the board. Four front to outlet on the left to Sharp, up ahead. Evans all the way through now, peels back from the left block, gets it to Sharp, Sharp top of the key, closely guarded there by Moffitt. Left side pass, Evans takes the three, goes baseline, over right side, wide open three ball, Lestowski spun out on him, no good. Rebound came down to Beans, he runs it up, by uh, Moffitt rather. Moffitt on the right wing, gets a screen from John Schutte. They can't do the pick and roll. The pass again is thrown away. Loose ball on the floor. Evans goes all the way down, sprawling, and gets it on over to a teammate. Mohawk still with the goose egg up there. They're not taking good care of the basketball. Rainbow three, right side, Evans good. Yep, that was just one pass and one shot. I mean, Frontier's making their shots right now. Junior, Kalen Evans, knocks it down now. Evans with the steal, it's 10-0 and Moore drives all the way through, puts it up and in and a foul. Kalen Evans came to play tonight and he's a very, very much of a spark plug for Frontier. He's a great athlete, quick, and uh, he's just scored the last five points. Frontier's gonna get Will Guyet, junior forward into the lineup and he is going to come in for Fitzgerald who just picked up his first, no, nope, Fitzgerald's gonna stay out there. Caleb did a quick turn and then he pulls a quick 180. It's uh, John Schutz who's gonna sit down. <coughs> Evans now trying to make it a three-point play. A little short with that one. Rebound taken down by Hicks. Hicks, outlet pass on the right. Vians now will run this set play. Takes it to the line, to the lane. Pass is picked off again. Laskowski up ahead, Alex Sharp. Can't penetrate. Stops and turns, they dump it down low to Carey. Carey triple team, found Evans! He's the cutter in the paint and he puts it up and in. Yeah, Frontier is firing on all cylinders right now. Well, we're basically seeing the JV game on repeat. High pass, picked off by Carey, down low to Sharp. Alex with an easy lay-in. This is getting away from Mohawk now. 16 to nothing. They've already called one time now. Double team to the backcourt, having a big, another steal. Coming through, Musica too strong on the bank. And coming down is Moffitt. Moffitt runs it up on the left. 
Behind the back dribble, waits for his teammates to catch up. Now calls the play from the top of the key. Sharp guarding him, he gets a screen. Kicks it left side, Fitzgerald. This is Hicks, left side loops the pass into the corner. Moffitt's gonna launch a three, way off, too strong. Here comes Evans, Frontier running again. Evans, nice oh. pass, Lesiowski puts it up and in. Well, this is as good as Frontier has played so far this season, I think. 18 to nothing, Red Hawks, they're doubling in the backcourt, Fitzgerald and nearly thrown away. In fact, it was. It was unable to be saved in front of the Frontier bench. We're going to see Cam Hoff check in for Mohawk. And also coming into the game is uh, Mike Gavary. We're more than halfway through the quarter. And when we say all Frontier, we mean that in every sense of the phrase. It is 18 to nothing. Musica carrying a high post. Karsten turns, shoots. Yes. Oh. I don't know how you defend that. 20 to nothing. Cam Hoff over to Fitzgerald. Up ahead. Slicing through the paint. And the pass is batted down. Hicks goes up strong. No good. They still have a bucket. Loose ball picked up by Frontier. Sharp ahead of the field. Nice job, though, by Cam Hoff getting back on D. Evans fakes the three, pull up pop from 15. That's no good. Hicks clears the rebound. Over to Cameron Hoff. Cam Hoff has it. Looks it back to Fitzgerald. Mohawk, you'd like to think, just get a bucket here and get on track. They've dug a huge early hole here. They try to get it down low, tipped away again. Carry to Sharp, Alex Sharp to the line, to the lane. Pull up pop from the free throw line is good. 22 to nothing. Oh. And once we get a stoppage of play, there's gonna be a line change. <laughs> it's gonna have to be. For, for Frontier. For Frontier. We're gonna get a whole new crew out there, but we haven't had a, a stoppage here. All the way through, Fitzgerald got rejected in the paint. That was Carry again. And that was a clean block. It's two or three blocks for him in this game. Look at this move by Evans, yes, puts it up and in. Kalen Evans has gone off already. He's got 12 points in this quarter. Reverse lay and that was beautiful. 24 zip. Excuse me, nine points. On the left side, Gabbary gets it back. Between the circles, Fitzgerald gets a screen. Deep three on the right side, back rim no good. Hicks the rebound, puts it up and no. Now goes out of bounds. It'll go to Frontier and a line change for Frontier. So you mentioned the Frontier JV team. I mean, I don't know the last time we've ever seen a JV team put up 79 points. It was a 79-29 win for the Frontier JV, and that JV team is for real, and that's the future. Brandon, Rob Brandon Robinsons just came out there. Owen Morse has checked into the game. Donovan Hoffman. Donovan Hoffman has it right now. Uh, on the right side, this is Morse to Robinson, back to Morse. Bounce pass on the right side. This crew looks pretty good, actually. Yeah, they, they, they got some good bench get bench help out there. Brandon Robinson, who's going to put up a three, he's going to make a three. Brandon Robinson makes it 27 to nothing. There's, no, there's no mercy rule in basketball, I don't think. Tipped around, Robinson had it, lost it. Still loose on the floor, bodies flying everywhere. What do we got? We got a scrum, it comes away to the Red Hawks. Running it up quickly, it's Owen Morse. Has it at the top of the key. On the left side, Hoffman. In a high post there, it's uh, Peter Carey. Shot from the right side, up and good by Robinson. Everything's falling right now. It's all falling. And really, nothing else to do for Moak but to call timeout. We'll take the break. 38.5 seconds left here in the opening quarter. On the Greenfield Savings Bank scoreboard, it is Frontier 29, Mohawk nothing. All right, play back on now. We're down to the last 30 seconds of an incredible first quarter for Frontier. Cameron Hoff on the floor loses it, and it looks like Boak is going to get a goose egg in this opening quarter, I think. Brandon Robinson's going to take another three. That one's in and out, no good. Rebound taken down by Frontier. They work around great ball movement. Morse and a three-second call against the Hawks. So maybe maybe they will get a shot away and maybe their first bucket and we're going to get uh, Jackson Hicks back into the lineup. Nine seconds, well Hoff, he's kind of taking his time. Seven seconds, I'm not sure he's aware. Now he's going to take it in, runs right in to Robinson. A desperation shot at the buzzer by Vian's up no good. End of one here in Buckland and on the Greenfield Savings Bank scoreboard, 
The Frontier Red Hawks, 29. The Mohawk Warriors, nothing. Second quarter action next on Bear Country. Well, I didn't see Frontier do a lot wrong in that first quarter. <laughs> I mean, maybe one errant pass I counted, yeah. but beyond that, I mean, and, and you know, you look at the score, 29 nothing. you say, oh my God. But um, they would have been tough to contain against any team the way they played that first quarter. Yeah, they looked really, really good. And Mohawk has had trouble taking care of the ball, and their defense, uh, their turnovers have led to quick offense. They looked good in the first couple series, and Hicks yeah. almost had a bucket, although he went a little strong off the glass. Yeah, they were definitely running their offense. Yeah. You know, they were trying to do some, uh, setting some screens. They were doing a reasonably good job, but then it just sort of fell apart there. All right, we're ready now for the second quarter. And Vianzo inbound right in front of us, gets it into Hoff. Has it at the center court circle. Yep. Item one, job number one is to get that zero off the scoreboard. Vians has it, they double down low to Hicks. Double team, back out, Hoff for three, short. Hicks, the offensive put back, no, but a foul. He will go the line for two, and a good opportunity here now to get that zero off that board. Not a bad little half court set for Mohawk, you know, and, and they could come away with a couple of free throws here and break this goose egg on the scoreboard. So, I mean, it, it, there's, it's not all bad on the Mohawk side of the ball, but right now on the scoreboard, it looks like it. First free throw is up, and it is off. Oh. It, yeah. it bounced up and around, and it fell out. There Every, is, everything but net. Yeah, <laughs> exactly. <laughs> Just didn't fall for him. He'll try one more time here. It's on the way. It looks good. Back rim, no. I thought it looked good coming out of his hand, but a little bit too strong. All right, running it up there is Hoffman. Morse. In the right corner, Brandon Robinson. Back to Morse. Hoffman between the circles, back to Morris, shot clock at 15. They try to get it down to Carey. That's Peter Carey, the younger. Three-point bomb put up and in. Nicely done there by Owen Morris. Owen Morris, Owen Morris is a good ball player. He's a freshman, and he's off the bench a lot, but he's got some good game. Yeah, he's not even listed on the junior varsity roster. He's not one of those freshmen that is, you know, half and half. Shot from the right block is no good. 32-0 is our score right now after a 29-0 score at the end of one. Hoffman. It's a pass between the circles to Morse. On the right wing. Donovan Hoffman. Circles away. In the right corner. Another new player. That's Noah Graves. And they get a three second call. And we're going the other way. Donovan Hoffman is a, an off guard. And uh, he's a real scrapper defensively. And he's, he's a, a real you know, all over the place looking to defend. And he, it's, good, it's a good combination, him and uh, Morse. Cam Hoff, right side. Slithering his way through, unable to get the shot away, and shot is no good on the right side. Hicks. They're getting their looks, it's just not falling yeah. for him. Didn't fall for uh, Jackson Hicks there. 32 nothing is our score, Brandon Robinson. So we get left side, Morse has it, top of the key, in a high post, oh, nice look down low. Nice ball movement, right side. Hoffman for three. Just slightly off offensive rebound though by Graves. Coming through Morris, threads the needle, throws up a dipsy do no good. And we have a foul at center court. That is going to be called on Noah Graves. Yeah, Noah just got a little piece of uh, the Mohawk player going through and that'll be a possession foul, not anywhere near the bonus. No, Mohawk will inbound just off to our left. Substitution, Caleb Fitzgerald back into the Mohawk lineup. As uh, Jeff Hurd is just trying to find someone who can give him some offense out there. Cam Hoff, sealed off, right side pass to Fitzgerald, perhaps he'll be the guy. Hoff will take a three, in and out, no good, one and done. Rebound taken down by Brandon Robinson. 5.45 to play here in the first half, it is 32 to nothing. Favor of Frontier. Deep on the left side is Hoffman. Loops the pass on the right side. Owen Morris. Back to Hoffman. Shot clock down to 10. Peter Carey. Kicks it left side. Robinson. Noah Grace. Foul line jumper. Good. Good ball movement. Nicely done. Use that virtually the entire shot clock. It is 34 to nothing. Hoff. Top of the key. Trying to set a screen for him. Kicks it right side, Caleb Fitzgerald. 
Top of the key, Vienz turn, shoots from 18, went for the bank, no good, tipped around, comes down low, shot rejected down low. Schutze has it again, got it down again. Ends up in the backcourt, but it was tipped. No, they're going to stay over and back. Yep, that's, yep. That was the right call, but then again, you saw Peter Carey. And again, look at the future, Peter Carey, Carson's brother, freshman. A couple of big blocks in the middle there. Anthony Moffitt back into the lineup for Mohawk, replacing Cam Hoff. But we're down to 4.55 to play in the half, and Mohawk still looking for their first points of the night. Brandon Robinson got double team, pull up jumper. Donovan Hoffman no good, offensive rebound by Carey. And the pass is errant on the right side, trying to get it back over to uh, Hoffman. It goes out of bounds. I like about Peter Carey is when he gets a, a shot like that, he ends up, rather than going back to the basket, which is the natural, I think, instinct, he, get, he kicks it outside. And that's, that's a good uh, instinct. Beans walks it across the timeline. Tried to cut into the paint, loose ball on the floor. Nice hustle there by Moak, and they get a guy free on the right side, but the pass is batted down. And here come the Hawks back the other way. Top of the key, they get it over, Donovan Hoffman. Back to Morse in a high post. Nice pass down low to Carey, who banked it home. Yeah, that's just real good passing. This is a good, good young unit they have out there. The Red Hawks are on a 36-0 run to begin this basketball game. On the right side, deep three ball put up, back rim, no good. Battle for the rebound comes down the frontier. As Moffitt was unable to hit that tray. Owen Morse backs it out, throws on the right side to Hoffman. Hoffman looks to get rid of it. They work it on the left side in a high post. Noah Graves, jump pass right side. Hoffman goes baseline, swing pass over to Robinson, throw it away, goes out of bounds. A little too hot, Brandon didn't quite see it coming. And for the Frontier Red Hawks, we have Tim Barrington, who is going to check in. We have Marcel Padovina, who is going to check in. And Papa. Robinson's going to stay out there. Graves will stay out there. And 23 is Zach. Nurminger on the right side. Jonathan shoots it. He's going to take a jumper with the foot on the line, and it's good. There we go. First points of the night for the Hawks. It's 36 to 2, and a foul down low on the other end. And slithering his way through is Marcel Padovina. He'll go to the line. Oh, uh, no. No, he was on the floor. Yeah, I don't think he was. It didn't look like he was shooting. Brandon Robinson will inbound on the baseline. You get it down low. Left side shot up and good. It's 38 to 2. And I'm looking. Uh, there's one player that's injured. Everyone else has gotten out there uh, who is dressed here for Frontier. Three-pointer on the right side by Mohawk is no good. Coming back the other way, Tim Barrington. Stops at the top of the key, passes on the left side. They try to get a down over to Noah Graves. It got tipped away by Fitzgerald. Caleb, though, bounce it off his leg. Running it down to the backcourt, though, is Vienz. Vienz runs it up. Between the circles, gets a screen from Schutze. All the way through. Hicks, rainbow jumper, rims out on him, no good. Coming down the court again for Frontier is Padovina. Pass is tipped away out of the high post. Which way are we going? It's going to stay with Frontier with 19 to shoot. 2.23 to play here in the first half. Our halftime report is coming up. Frontier is taking care of business right off the jump. They won the opening tip, and uh, they've been cruising ever since. Nice steal goal, though, by Vian's Blue. Comes all the way through, off balance shot, no, but a foul. He hasn't given up. No, he hasn't, and I, I like this hustle. I like the uh, intensity going after that ball, and let's we'll see if Vian's can put a couple more points on the board for his Warriors. And that foul is against Noah Graves, his second. First one is up, and it is no good. Want to thank a few more of the sponsors here on the broadcast tonight. Mac and Fuel and Trucking, Foster's Supermarket. They're open on Sunday, by the way, New Year's Eve. That's right. Albert Hearing Services, C&A Repair and Equipment. 
Second free throw rims out no good, so miss them both. It remains 38 to two. Noah Graves gets it down low. Brandon Robinson turns, shoots, no good. Rebound, Mohawk had it tipped away. Nurminger had it, but had a foot on the baseline. Yep. That was all that was. 2.03 left here in the half. And coming across on the right side is the youngster, the sophomore Moffitt, but he loses it. Back the other way. Brandon Robinson gets it to Noah Graves. Back to Robinson in the corner. Makes a deep field, it's an air ball, no good. Nurminger goes up strong, no good, but a foul. He'll go to the line. So Zach with a chance for two from the charity strike. Good job by Nurminger to be there for that rebound and, and try and get a couple the hard way. It's a good opportunity for some of these kids who aren't, don't see a lot of playing time to get some really solid minutes. Yeah, they're gonna be out there for a while here. Now the starting five of Frontier, we're, I'm sure we're not done seeing them because you do, you know, you want them to be able to play as well, but they just were uh, outclassing the Mohawk five. My guess is to see them start the third quarter and probably play part of that and not even the end of it. One of two free throws, 39 to two. 133 to play here in the half. Anthony Moffitt, top of the key. Coming all the way through, throws it up off balance, off the window, no good. Back quickly comes Tim Barrington. Top of the key, works it right side, Robinson up fakes, goes baseline, he got whacked down the arm by Moffitt, I believe. It may have been Moffitt. Yeah, I think, I think it was, and Moffitt's been everywhere. I mean, he's been all over the place. Or it could have been Gaia, but no, it was Moffitt, his second. Fourth team foul, not shooting. Barrington will inbound down the baseline. And they inbound it. Jumper from 17, Graves just, uh, they left him open. He yeah. just took a little rocking chair jumper, it was good. It's 41 to two, folks. I don't think we've ever seen a game, this particular rivalry, be a blowout like this. No, we have not. Mohawk missed, Frontier got the rebound, but they immediately threw it away. Moffitt has it now, under a minute to play here in the half. John Schutze, you've got the first points. Great baseline, Gibbs with a nice move. He goes up strong, foul down low. He got hit hard. Yeah, he took down uh, Brandon Robinson in the process. But there's some good individual play. I think you got some aggressive players out there. Vians and Moffitt have really been going at it hard. They just haven't been able to put together a consistent offensive pattern. First free throw is up and good. Luke will get one more here. Kim and Hawk back in, and Moffitt will take a seat on the bench. Second free throw is good. 41-4. And we have a substitution for the Warriors. Forty seconds left here in the half. Graves throws over to Tim Barrington. Gets a screen, can't do much with it. Shot clock at 12, Barrington gets it over to Graves. Open for the jumper, that is no good. Rebound pulled down by Mohawk. Shot clock off, 20 seconds left here in the half. Top of the key, Hoff, curls all the way through. Pass is thrown out of bounds though. He's trying to hook up uh, with uh, the guy that just checked in, Raven Sauceda could not do so. Barrington gets the inbound, 10 seconds in the half. Graves throws on the right side, four seconds. Barrington open, Robinson for a three at the buzzer. No good, they're gonna wave off. Actually, the ball was picked up and thrown in. By, uh, by number 20, Padavina, but they're gonna wave that off. Halftime here in Buckland, all frontier. The Red Hawks leading Mohawk on the Greenfield Savings Bank scoreboard, 41 to four. Our halftime report next on Bear Country 95.3. Financial support for FCAT's coverage of local high school sports provided by Leader Home Centers, your hometown home center with five locations to serve you. In Amherst, South Deerfield, Barry, Greenfield, 
and Brattleboro, Vermont, or online at leaderhome.com. Visit them for all your building material needs. Raymond Financial Services, LLC. Take charge of your financial future. Insurance, investments, and benefits for individuals and employers. Attorney Daniel Graves, Esquire. In addition to being Deerfield's town moderator, Dan's a practicing attorney. Call his Greenfield office at 773-8706 for all your legal needs. This is the Bear Country High School Basketball Halftime Report. We're in Buckland tonight. Jeff Terrell, Chris Collins, Dave Reno, all frontier in the first half. They got off 29-0 at the end of one. They lead 41-4 at halftime. As we analyze this, Chris, there's uh, not too much to say. As an analyst, what can you say about what we saw in those uh, first well, 16 minutes? What I can say is that the Frontier Red Hawks looked like they were in mid-season form. I mean, that, this is the best I've seen them play. Now, again, they're going up against a team that is not really is the strongest team in the league. Uh, but... You know, Mohawk has tried to defend them. Mohawk has been aggressive, but they have just not really got an offensive scheme that's come close to working. But I can't really find a lot of flaws in the frontier play. No matter what combination they put on the floor, they seem to it seemed to work. And they got 11 players in the scoring column in that first half. I mean, just good passing, good shooting, good rebounding, good defense, all around solid performance. Gabe Jones Thompson is uh, nursing an injury. He is a sophomore on this Frontier team, so not dressed. Everyone else played, virtually everyone scored. What a luxury that is for uh, for Ben Barshevsky. His starting five, again, we were theorizing that they will be out there probably briefly in the third quarter, but that that's it. I mean, we're not gonna see any one player, we don't think, scoring 20 points. I think we're gonna see a ton of guys with eight, nine, 10, 11 yeah. points. Well, as, as young as they are, and they've only got five seniors, uh, Frontier is very, very deep. I mean, they, and, and a lot of them are young players. I speak specifically of guys like Owen Morse, a freshman, good point guard, Peter Carey, a big man who's, you know, going to be the, the future front court guy, Donovan Hoffman, who's a junior, actually, who was, who was a sophomore. Yeah, he looked good. And he looked good. I mean, there's some good young talent here. And the question is, you know, this, it's one thing to beat a team that's in, in rebuild mode like Mohawk. It's quite another to beat a a tough team in the league. So as good as they look tonight, you never know what's going to happen the next night when they play a tougher opponent. After the game tonight, we will reveal the Helena Chemical player of the game, and that young player gets uh, one of these t-shirts. I'll hold it up for the uh, FCAT <laughs> yeah. camera. So one of these guys is going to get it. We need to talk about someone who uh, really impressed in that first half. I mean, uh, I, I have to tell you, I was, haven't seen a lot of him. But, uh, my goodness, yeah, Kalen Evans, yeah. I mean, he got off the bus and he said, let's play some ball tonight. Right, and Kalen Evans is one of these players who has great athleticism, has great speed, and when he's playing under control, is very, very effective. In that first half, the time he was out there, he had nine points, one three, he was under control. The concern is when he gets a little bit ahead of himself. And that was the problem they ran into against Wakona, and they ran into against Munson, is it, it was a little bit too fast of a pace. But in this particular case tonight, the pace hasn't been the issue. They did everything right in that first half. And, you know, barring a miraculous comeback by Mohawk, they're going to win this game and win it going away. This is the last broadcast of the year, the calendar year. Our first broadcast of 2018 is on Tuesday night, and it could be, should be a really good game. Second half coming up next, 41-4 to in favor of Frontier. Third quarter action next, Bear Country 95.3. All right, Jeff and Chris back here in Buckland. We've got Dave Reno in our studio in Greenfield, nice and warm there. Yeah. And if you are out and about this weekend, I wanted to mention the Patriots uh, put out word, uh, I think yesterday or early today, if you're going to the game, it's going to be very cold again. And they say you want to bring a blanket, Bring a blanket, bring many blankets. Ordinarily, they don't let you do that kind of thing, evidently, but they want their fans to uh, be safe. It's going to be that cold. If you're outside for three, four hours, that yeah, could pose a problem. So bundle up when you go to Gillette. All right, second half underway. 
Frontier with the ball with the big lead. They have their starting five, and that's Karsten Curry with the reverse lay-in, making it look easy. Because yeah, it was. That was a pretty easy shot for him. 43-4, to four, so we know who will win the game tonight, but what kind of second half will Mohawk have? That's what we want to see. They make a nice move there, but Hicks can't finish. Gets his own rebound, puts it up, no good. Chipped away to Ben Laskowski. Again, they have been running their offense, but the shooting, not there tonight. Sharp. And passes tipped down. Nice play there by Luke Beans. He's going to run it down court. Luke going one on two, and he wisely peels it back, and they'll set up the offense. Hoff has it between the circles. Zone defense by the Hawks. On the left side, Beans. Luke holding there. Gets it back to Cam Hoff. Shot clock down to 12. Caleb yeah, Fitzgerald goes right side, stepped on the sideline, though we're going the other way. Well, the good news, if there's good news to be had here, is that there's nowhere, nowhere to go but up for Mohawk. I mean, they can work on some stuff here. Yep. They can run that offense. You know, this is quality time against a good opponent. And yeah, brief stoppage, but now we're good to go. They get it in the sharp in the backcourt. Mohawk trying to come up with a steal. They couldn't do it. Evans with a nice wraparound pass. Laskowski. Here comes Sharp. We will back it out. Plenty of time on the shot clock. They double on the corner. I tell you, Mohawk, they're, they're scrambling. They're, they're trying. Trying to get some things done, and they provoke a turnover. I'm going to give Mohawk a lot of credit. That was a really good defensive series right there. It was, and that's exactly what you want to do. If you want to get back in this game, you got to force Frontier to make some bad passes, and that was one right there. Hoff walks it across the timeline right. Angling towards the right, cuts all the way through, puts it up, no, but a foul. This is a good start to the second half for the home team. Well, you know, as I mentioned, nothing to lose here. You're down by 39 points. Just throw everything at the wall, at the, at the wall and see what sticks, and that's what they're doing right now. And I, like the, I like the aggressiveness. I like the fact that they aren't backing down. Hoff will be shooting two here. The first one is up, and that is no good. I gotta say, early on this season, in pretty much every game we've seen, foul shooting has not been good. On, and no matter who the team is, it's the early season foul shooting has been really rough. And Hoff missed the second, so he missed them both. So a wasted trip. Uh, good effort there by Cam, but unable to convert on the free throw. So it's 43 to four with 6:15 to play here in the third quarter. Evans has it. Down low to Karsten Carey, swing pass left side, Laskowski back to Evans, shot clock at 10. Evans sealed off, back, Laskowski is going to spot it for three, bang! They spread the floor very well on that exchange, just lots of good passing. 46 to 4, 5.53 to play here in the third. Hoff gets a screen from Hicks, Caleb Fitzgerald going baseline, tried to pass to a teammate that was not there, Laskowski, and he kind of peel back. He ha actually had a lane to the bucket, but Frontier will set up the offense. Evans to carry. Nice ball movement. Muzika. Lasowski misses. Muzika battling for the rebound. Gets it. Back to Evans. Into the paint. Sealed off. Passes over to Muzika. Alex Sharp between the circles. Left side of the side. I mean, everybody's touching the basketball. Good ball movement. Nice steal by Fitzgerald. Drives all the way through, off the glass and in. Worked by Caleb, nicely done. 46-6 Frontier. They're down to the five minute mark here. In the third, Sharp, Evans on the right side. Guarded closely and they got him with steps. Nice defensive there by uh, Jackson Hicks. Yeah, they've gone from the, the uh, zone to a tight man to man and it's working for them. And there's a timeout on the floor. We'll take it, 4.55 to play here, third quarter. On the Greenfield Savings Bank scoreboard, it is Frontier 46, Mohawk 6. All right, play back on, and Frontier has gone to their second team, their B team, which was more than effective in that first half, and now they're out there again. This is great for Ben's kids, Ben, uh, Coach Ben Barshevsky's guys, because uh, as you mentioned, Chris, not only they're getting playing time, but they're getting substantial playing time. Right. 
This will not happen most nights. Nice deal though by Kayla Fitzgerald. Puts it up, no good. Tip follow by Luke Beans, no good. Jonathan Schutze has it. And Fitzgerald and the coach Heard is saying set it up. He says set something up. So that's what they're gonna try to get going here. Cam Hoff goes into a double team. That is pocket picked by Carey. That's Peter Carey, the younger. Get it down low. Carey has it. He's all by himself. Goes up. No good. But he got fouled. And that was a nice, nice job of getting himself free down low. Yep. And he's uh, going to go to the line. I think he's almost taller than his brother. I mean, his brother is it's definitely close, bigger yeah. in terms of size, but in, in terms of body size. But I think in terms of height, young Peter is a uh, scotch taller than his brother. First free throw is up and good. And he'll get one more. He's going to play a lot of basketball for this Frontier team. He's only a freshman. Yeah, we are definitely seeing uh, an era of the big man st slowly but surely start to come back. And on the rebound, no good. A held ball, the possession arrow favors the Mohawk Warriors. Yeah, for a while there it was shooting guards and, and yep. uh, power forwards, and now it, it seems like there's a lot of good pivot men. Yeah, you got Anthony Peterson over at Turner's Falls. You've got the Carey brothers here, some other guys. you got uh, Brendan Elon up there at uh, Pioneers. Healthy and eager to get some work done. Three-point bomb put up no good by Luke Beans. One and done for the Warriors. 47 to six in favor of Frontier. On the right side, Donovan Hoffman has it. It's it back on the left side. Owen Morse back to Hoffman. Hoffman takes it in. Gets it down low to Robinson. Shot clock at eight. Here comes Carey, double team, top of the key. Shot clock running down, left side, Graves. Fade away, Jay is good just before the shot clock expires. That's how you use the entire 30 seconds. <laughs> 49 to six. And a timeout called by Mohawk. We'll step aside, three minutes, three seconds to play third quarter. Greenfield Savings Bank scoreboard, Frontier 49, Mohawk six. Support for FCAT's coverage of local high school sports provided by Leader Home Centers, your hometown home center with five locations to serve you in Amherst, South Deerfield, Barry, Greenfield, and Brattleboro, Vermont, or online at leaderhome.com. Visit them for all your building material needs. Raymond Financial Services, LLC. Take charge of your financial future. Insurance, investments, and benefits for individuals and employers. Attorney Daniel Graves, Esquire. In addition to being Deerfield's town moderator, Dan's a practicing attorney. Call his Greenfield office at 773-8706 for all your legal needs. Kayla Fitzgerald inbounding the ball right in front of us. Throws it into the backcourt to Hoff. And I know the coach heard was talking to his guys about setting up a play. Nice look down low. Unable to finish though down there, but Again, they have had moments where they have uh, at least moved the ball very well. A pass tipped out of bounds off of Mohawk. It'll stay with the Hawks. And looks like they're going to get Hicks back into the lineup. They will. And also checking back in, learning these new guys. It's uh, Michael Garibay, a senior. Hoffman Hoffman gets it in to carry, we'll swing it left side, and a jumper wide open, and yep, he definitely knows what to do with it. Nice shot there by Owen Morris yep. for three. Solid. 52 to six. And an illegal screen called against Mohawk. We're going the other way, called by uh, Arthur Burke, who once scored 54 points really? for Turner's Falls at Amherst back in the 60s. No three-point line, by the way. Nice up fake down there by Graves, no good. Brandon Robinson, though, cleans up underneath. 
Can you imagine that? 54, that? That 54 points right now for Frontier for the game. He had 54. I'm not sure what Turner scored for the game. And we have a held ball. Nice deal there by Frontier. Alternating possession. Goes to the Hawks. What Arthur told me uh, tonight before the game. He actually scored only, he scored six points in the first quarter. As they were trying to work different guys in the offense. The rest of Turner's fouls guys were, went ice cold. So the coach said, all right, you got the high end, keep shooting, and he did. And he just went off. Nice pass down low, and Robinson puts it up and in. That was a beauty pass. Yeah, Brandon's got nine points already in this game. Great passing by Frontier, just a really, really solid game. Yeah, that was Noah Graves. Nice look. I mean, uh, when, you, when you feed the lane like that, you have to really put something on it, and he did. Hoff with a nice save along the baseline, and breaking away was Graves, a reaching foul called against Mohawk. I think it's going to be on Viens. Nope, they're going to get uh, Cam Hoff. And they change up again. We're going to try to keep track of uh, all these substitutions for Frontier, but again, they're playing everyone but one guy who's not dressed. And he'll eventually be able to join the team at some point. Not sure exactly what I'm talking about. Gabe Jones Thompson. Jump pass on the right side. They work it down low to Carey. Carey back at a three point bomb put up on the right side. No good by Owen Morse. One and done. Rebound was pulled down by Andrew Hicks, number 13. Well, the other Hicks, we have two Hicks in the lineup. Right now, Jackson Hicks takes a left block, puts it up and in. All right, Jackson's on the board. And the Warriors now are just a bucket away from breaking into double digits. Then they were shut out in the first quarter and much of the second before Schutze finally hit. On the right side is Morse. Foul line jumper, back rim no good, and a foul over the back on the rebound. That's going to go against Peter Carey. Yep. As he tried to crash the boards there. It's two on Peter. One minute, one second left to play here, third quarter. Frontier cruising the victory. I mean, after the first part of the first quarter, they were trending to score about a about a buck twenty. We knew they would slow it down and they did, but they were completely on fire in that first half. Mohawk throws away on the far side right, back to the Hawks. And I can hear the coach saying, be ready for the ball. I and mean, that's a good point. When you're out there, you do need to be, the pass isn't always going to be right in your hands. You do need to be ready at all times. And coming through is Barrington, left of the lane, dumps it down low, put up no good by Perry, got his rebound, and then he Travel. took a stutter step and we're going the other way. But that was a great thread needle pass to get the ball to carry on the baseline. He was all alone pretty much. Just could not convert it. Quick sub, Moffitt is back in for Cameron Hoff for Mohawk. 30 seconds left, third quarter, 56-8 in favor of Frontier. Moffitt gets it away to Hicks, double team, batted down by Barrington, gets it back. Moffitt will take a three, and that is off. And it goes out of bounds, it'll stay with the Warriors. Shot clock off, 15.5 left here in the third. And they inbound it to Moffitt. He will take it back out to the head of the circle, right near the center court circle. Goes to the right, trying to get a screen. They can't work a pick and roll. Four seconds left. Moffitt gets it back. Two seconds left. One, throws up a one at the, throws up a three at the buzzer. It's no good. End of three here in Buckland. Now on the Greenfield Savings Bank scoreboard, it's the Frontier Red Hawks 56 and the Mohawk Warriors eight. What was the spread, third quarter, 15-4, Hawks? 
Yeah, 15 for Hawks. Mohawk misses a three to open up the fourth. Donovan Hoffman. Long pass on the left side to Graves. Tim Barrington gets it on the right side. Hoffman for three. In and out, no good. Rebound pulled down by the Warriors. And of course, we'll uh, reveal the hell of a chemical player of the game on our post-game show. I have a strong feeling. I think it'll be unanimous, but we'll see. Maybe, maybe Chris and I won't have the same thought, but I think we do. Hoffman runs into a triple team. Barrington top of the key, open for three. He says, I'll take it. Back rim, no. Deep rebound by Moffitt. And he runs it up. Now peels back to set up the offense. Takes it on the right side. Holding there on the right. Yep, I think he's going to get that young man off the court right now. Coach Hurd on the other side. There's a player for Mohawk who uh, has not been ready to handle the ball when it comes his way. So I think they're going to sub for him right now. Well, next stoppage of play anyway. Frontier now back on the attack. From the foul line, Barrington. Oh, a nice look down low. Shot up and in. The passing has been really great tonight. For really Frontier. Good. I mean, no matter what combinations out there, they really have found the open man very well. 58 to 8 in favor of the Hawks. Jumper by Hicks. Foul line left is no good. Hoffman gets the board. He will take it across himself. Pass on the right side to Barrington. Loops the pass to Graves. Back to Hoffman for three. Good. He's got a pretty jumper. Yeah. Donovan. Three pointer. 61 to 8. Six minutes to play. Moffitt, looking between the circles, back to Moffitt, a deep three for him, and that shot is missed, no good. Noah Graves running it up, looking for help. Barrington on the right side, slithers through, throws it up, no good. Rebound, not corralled there by Hicks, goes out of bounds, it'll stay with Frontier. That almost went. As crazy as that <laughs> shot looked, it almost went in. And it would have uh, really symbolized the night here for Frontier. Again, I'm sure Ben Barczewski, when he reviews the, the tape here, you know, he'll pick some nits because it wasn't perfect, but really, really strong performance tonight by the Hawks. The nits are minimal. Yeah. I think. And he's really going after the run. Another three by Hoffman. That one is good. Downtown Donovan. Frontier 64, Mohawk 8. This is uh, maybe an historic blowout. We're gonna have to. Well, I was just thinking about that. It's yeah. too bad Mark Durant's in Vegas because he'd be able to tell us. Yep, Durant. Well, we'll get uh, we'll get J Bone working on that over at the recorder, Batinsky. Um, in a, in in a boys game, I yeah, this is going to be up there in terms of. Uh, Point differential and fewest points scored by the, by the trailing team. Oh, another three from the right corner by Hoffman. He's gone off. He says, hey, maybe I want that t-shirt, guys. Three threes in a row for Big Don. 67 to eight. He's lighting it up. He has a steal. Now, he could have broke towards the bucket, but he will spin back. And he wants another three. No, you're going to jump out on him. Barrington has it. Back to Hoffman. Oh, I'm waiting for him to pull the trigger again. Back to Barrington, top of the key. 15 to shoot. Hoffman on the right. They jump out on him. He's going to look to pass. Well, they try to go back to where he threw it one way, and Graves is going the other way. And Donovan's going to have a seat. 67 to 8. Wow. Well, we certainly felt like Frontier had the upper hand heading into this one. They were a strong road favorite, but we didn't see this happening. Now Mohawk throws that one away. We're going to go the other way. Well, this is always a rivalry game, but a lopsided defeat like this could actually stick, put some fuel into this rivalry. Mohawk's not going to forget this anytime soon. And no, they won't. And they're going to play again down at Goodnow Gymnasium later this year. Graves on the left side. Mark jumps out on him. Nice dish down low. Robinson goes for the bank. Count it and one. It is all working for Frontier. It really is. I mean, it's that was stuff. that was Robinson perfectly placed. Great pass to the baseline. Drew the foul. And a chance to make this 70 points. 
Yeah, Brandon has looked really good tonight. In and out, no good. So he misses the free throw. How could he do that? <laughs> How dare you miss? 340 to play. Ian goes right baseline. Rejected down low. Yeah, that was that was Padovina, Marcel Padovina. Get that out of there. Timeout called by Mohawk. We'll take it. 337 to play in the basketball game. And on the car on the uh, Greenfield Savings Bank scoreboard. It is Frontier 69, Mohawk 8. Post-game show coming up when this one goes final. And we'll have the Helena Chemical Player of the Game. A 61-point margin right now. That's where we have to get our buds over at the uh, over on Hope Street. Uh, well, I, I, don't well, know. I, mean, I, I could dig myself, actually, but I just don't feel like yeah, it. Yeah, I don't know what you do. I mean, if you're, if you're Ben Barshevsky, you tell your guys to back off and just pass the ball around. Right, when they've gotten steals, they haven't, they, you know, they've, they're using all the shot clock, too, for the most part. Right. They're, you're, the answer is there's nothing you can do. Shot from the right side is up no good, out of bounds. It'll stay with the Warriors. Fitzgerald will throw in. Rainbow jumper by Hoff. It's an air ball on the left side. It goes knocked out of bounds. It'll go back to the Hawks. Yeah, he was almost behind the backboard when he took that shot. Yeah, that's uh, you talk about a tough angle. Barrington over to Graves. Graves has been out there a ton because he played with this unit and the B unit. So he, he's been a B guy and a C guy tonight. So he's he's got a lot of playing time. In the paint, nice bubble, spun out no good, however. Williams runs it up on the right side. Barrington says, I got him, got him, got him. Picks him up. Two little guys going at it. Nice drive to the bucket. Luke will go to the line for two free throws as Barrington gets the ticket. Yeah, Luke Viens, I mean, I think he's been one of the right spots in this game. He and uh, I think Moffitt have really been very aggressive, charging at the basket, playing tough defense. First free throw is up, and Luke missed that one, and he will get one more. And coach said, slow it down, take deep breaths. So he takes a deep <laughs> breath, and no good air ball. Take deep breaths for that air ball. And we're going the other way. And again, you know, it's, you got to coach it. You got you to gotta try and yeah, coach to the throw end these for guys sure. for sure, but it's, it's going to be frustrating to think back on this one. Padovina gets it away to Barrington. Graves looking for the backdoor cutter. Beautiful ball movement. Nice look down low. Goes through. Robinson's hands out of bounds. Yep. It'll go back to the Warriors. Well, good job by Caleb Fitzgerald there to hassle Robinson just enough that uh, went out, the ball went off his hands. Down to two and a half minutes to play. A 61 point margin right now the Frontier. Remember, they got off 29-0 in the first quarter. Nice play there by Hoff on a drive on the left side of the lane. And they're in the double digits. 69-10. to Double teamed. They're trying to provoke a steal here. And they're in big trouble there. They're going to get a five-second call. Nope, they got it away. Graves to Burrington. Ten seconds to shoot. Nice look down low. Robinson too strong on the bank. That was a nice pass, however. That was a Zach Nurminger. He's had a great game. I mean, that kid, it doesn't get a lot of playing time, but he's been solid. Zach attack. On the left side, Caleb Fitzgerald. Shot clock at 9. A rainbow three by Caleb. No good. They crashed the boards. Shot up no, but a foul down low. And Padovina beans back to the line. He missed two a moment ago, including an air ball. Our old buddy Torsten Sloan Anderson just went by. <laughs> Is that who that was? Yep. I knew it was someone pr pretty tall. Yeah, I saw him... Uh, pitching for post-81 Legion over the summer. As, as accomplished as he was in basketball, he is an excellent baseball player, baseball so pitcher, and yeah, he's a good athlete. And make it 0 for 4 now, the last two trips for Mowak down the line. So Lane violation. Oh no, it was, yeah. it was a foul. All right, one minute, 33 seconds left to play in the game. 
and a 59 point lead. The lead's been as big as 61. The lead's been big all night, folks. That's, I mean, it, this one got out of control in a nanosecond. He inbound it to Barrington. Padavina slices through the lane, and did he take an extra step? He did. Just to show you how crazy this is, the JV and varsity, if the game ended right now for Frontier, has outscored Mohawk 148 to 29. To 39, excuse me. Yeah, that's a wow stat. Robinson got the steal. Uh, Graves got the steal, but again, they obviously were told by the coach, you steal, just wait for your teammates, and then run our offense. Passes on the left side, Padovina finds a lane, no good, but he got hacked on the arm by Jackson Hicks, and he'll go to the line for two with 57.6 seconds left. Interesting that we have what, I haven't really been close until right now to the bonus. There have been a lot of fouls in this game. Pretty free-flowing game. First free throw is up and no good by Padovina. He'll get one more here. Second one is on the way. Back rim, no. Gets it right back, however. Backdoor play to Graves. Nice dish down low. Great ball movement. Robinson back to Barrington. Pass though picked out. Dean's coming back. Takes it all the way through. Yep. Traveling. Took one extra stutter step. Good defense coming back by Barrington to force that travel. Long looping pass into the right corner to Robinson. Top of the heat, Barrington loops it down low. Nice ball movement, Robinson from the right side. No good. 30 seconds left, Vian's coming back. A little shuffle pass, picked off by Robinson. And again, Frontier could have went off on the break, but they wait, and they can actually dribble it out now. Shot clock is off, and that's what they will do. Time to reach for your jackets, warm up the car, warm up the bus. This game has gone final. On the Greenfield Savings Bank scoreboard, Frontier 69, Mohawk 10. Post game show next, Bear Country 95.3. Support for FCAT's coverage of local high school sports provided by Leader Home Centers, your hometown home center with five locations to serve you in Amherst, South Deerfield, Barry, Greenfield, and Brattleboro, Vermont, or online at leaderhome.com. Visit them for all your building material needs. Raymond Financial Services, LLC. Take charge of your financial future. Insurance, investments, and benefits for individuals and employers. Attorney Daniel Graves, Esquire. In addition to being Deerfield's town moderator, Dan's a practicing attorney. Call his Greenfield office at 773-8706 for all your legal needs. And welcome to the Bear Country High School Basketball Post Game Report. Live from Buckland, Jeff and Chris here. Dave Reno, our studio producer. Frontier Red Hawks cruise to victory. And we mean they cruise to victory. They got off. 29 to nothing at the end of one. They were up 30 something to nothing before Mohawk scored. They end up winning it, Chris, by 59 points, 69 to 10. What more can we say that hasn't already been said? Well, a lot of times you'd say at the end of a game like this, well, the, the score didn't really reflect the game. Well, in this case, the score did reflect the game. But there were some good things, I think, for, for Mohawk to build off of. I think that they played some good aggressive defense at times. You know, it didn't sh shut down Frontier, but it certainly made their lives a little more difficult. I think that uh, the, the big issue is not finishing on the offensive end. And if you can't score, you can't win. But there's, there's reason, I think, for Mohawk to feel a little bit optimistic. I mean, they've got some decent ball players. They just have not got a cohesive game plan. But for Frontier, I mean, this was clearly the best performance of the year. There was absolutely no doubt they were never, ever uh, not in control of this game. And almost everybody on the roster, except for two guys, 
that played got in the scoring book. So you, you can't ask for much more of a complete performance than that. So they end up winning it 69-10, to 10, and I will give Moak credit. They came out in that third quarter. I mean, they were getting blown out of their own gym, but they were scrambling. They were trying to create turnovers. They were doing all they could. They just went up against a much better basketball team, at least tonight. Again, these teams will play again later this year. It'll be down at Good No Gymnasium. Frontier Coast will be a huge favorite that night as well. But uh, it could could be and probably will be a very different story later on this year. Yeah, in a situation like this, I mean, Mohawk knows it's going to be a long season. They know that they've got a new system, a new coach, and they don't have the horses they've had in the past. So you play for pride. You you don't ever want to come out and not give your best effort. I think that these guys gave their best effort tonight. Unfortunately, uh, it wasn't enough to control a very, very uh, focused and I think technically very solid Frontier team. And what's great about this is it would have been easy for Frontier to come out here and make some bonehead passes and do some things wrong and be a little bit lazy, and they weren't. They came out laser focused. They passed well in every aspect of the game they dominated. And, you know, if you're Ben Barshevsky, you got to feel good about that moving forward and this being the first league game. Um, they're going to face some tough competition down the stretch. But that's a good start for a league, uh, league schedule. Uh, let's reveal our Helena Chemical player of the game. And uh, early on, this kid just came into this gymnasium, and he, he owned this gymnasium tonight. He did. Kalen Evans uh, ended up with nine points, all scored in the first half. But that was when the game was sort of somewhat in doubt, I guess you could say. Yeah. But what was great about what Kalen did was he was all over the place. And, and, and Kalen's a... A very solid athlete, a quick kid. Um, there are times he can be a little out of control out there, but there was no evidence of that tonight. I think maybe one bad pass here and there, but all overall, I think of all the Frontier starters, he was the most solid, and he gets the T-shirt. So congratulations to uh, Kalen Evans of Frontier Regional, our Helena Capital Player of the Game. The Red Hawks win it by a final score of 69-10. to 10. They get win number one. They've had a couple of close calls. Now they get that first W, and they'll try to build on that momentum. Mohawk back to the drawing board. Our next broadcast will be Tuesday night. We will be at Turner's Falls High School, the girls' matchup between Turner's Falls High School and Pioneer Regional. 6.45 pregame, 7 o'clock tip with Chris and myself and Dave Reno. For Chris Collins and for Dave Reno, I'm Jeff Terrell. Thank you so much for joining us tonight. Have a great weekend in Bear Country, everyone.